Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. This is Cindy at Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm so glad you're here. This is a special reading for September. Let's take a look at your overall energy, what you can expect, and any advice that Spirit has for you. Thank you again for being here. Thank you for your likes and your comments and your shares. Let's take a look right now at what you can expect in September. Spirit, thank you for my friends watching this video right now. And if it is if it is after the day that I posted it, which is the 1st of September, it's okay because my videos are timeless. So whenever you're seeing it, if it resonates for you, it's for you. Okay, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Thank you, Spirit. What is the overall energy for my friends watching this video? Caring connections. What is their overall energy for September? We have caring connections. This can be a new connection if you're looking for love. This can be the energy surrounding you right now is all about connections, new or existing. Is there anything else? Okay, so you have patience. All right. So what I'm getting from this for your overall energy for September and going into September is that you have either been waiting for a connection to come out of, uh, maybe you're single and you're waiting for a connection to come to you. Maybe you are, um, because we have the patience card here, maybe you are in a relationship and you've been waiting patiently for this to go to the next level or for, for something to resolve in your um, connection. Or maybe you are in separation from somebody and you have been waiting for it to change. So let's take a look at, oh, and you have the sun here. The sun changes here. The sun is changed. The sun is kind of like the spring, the energy of spring where everything is new and blossoming and taking off again. So I kind of feel like this is, a connection that's been in separation or you could be single looking for love either way it take it how it resonates for you but you've had a lot of patience and you've been waiting for a while and you have something changing in your love life let's see what this card has to say if there's any other additional messages for you but I feel like there's a connection that is coming out of stagnation that is maybe going to resurge, reconnect, reignite, or you have been maybe struggling in a relationship and that is going to change. You have that in your energy for September. Possible love, it says partnership. This card shows a couple in a tender embrace with the woman holding a, the blossoms of new love. See, we have blossoms here in the sun card, which is the overall energy for this part of your reading. And she's holding the blossoms of new love. So you're going to have a reconnection, a resurgence, or new love coming towards you. It reveals a caring connection, but usually between two people only. This card can also signal the beginning or deepening of a kindred spirit friendship or even the appearance of new love. It can also signify a formal business partnership. Maybe this is all about business and you've been waiting um, patiently for your business to take off and something new is going to ch change that. You're gonna see, maybe have a partner come in to help you in some way that that makes your business take off like this new spring energy flourishing and blossoming in new abundance. When this card appears, be on the lookout for new connections presenting themselves. The relationships you already share may become more intimate, purposeful, or present at this time. Notice the opportunities to forge new or deeper bonds. There may be a tender karmic connection at hand. So there you go for your overall energy of September. Now let's take a look at what the tarot has to say. What messages do you have to add to this? What do my friends need to know about September? What is com coming towards them in September? What do they need to know? Maybe about this connection? As a matter of fact, let's take a look at love. Let's ask our love cards first. 
So let's see, what is the overall energy of love in September for my friends? What do you have to add to this message so far? What is the overall energy that my, what is the message that my friends need to know? All right, I'm going to break the deck and take the top card. Ooh, you deserve love. So, love yourself first. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so what that tells me is you've probably been dealing with separation in a connection or you've maybe been through a recent-ish breakup and you are waiting for new love to come but you've had to go through a period of healing to know that you deserve the love that you are looking for and you've had to love yourself first you've had to put up boundaries and and not accept you know crappy love anymore so your love life is about to change. You've worked hard and you've gotten really great boundaries. You've loved yourself first. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So that's what you've been having to deal with in your relationship or in your, you know, your life. You've had to work on yourself. You've had to go through a healing period and you have now made yourself more attractive because you've set really good boundaries and you're not accepting half-ass love anymore. This could be in a current connection that is maybe been struggling and they weren't treating you right. You know, and the situation can be reversed too. If you're a cross watcher watching this for somebody else, um, you know, they may have had to go through a healing because maybe you didn't treat them very well, but hopefully you love yourself enough to treat others good now. And, uh, but if you're the person watching this that is looking for love or, or an up leveling in your connection or coming out of separation, you've learned how to put yourself first. You have learned your self worth. You've learned that you are enough for the relationship that you want. You are worthy and deserving. And you've gotten really clear. See how she has, she's gotten really clear. She's shooting her arrow towards this. This is what she wants. She's gotten really clear about what she wants. And that makes her more attractive to the right one coming in for her. So if you are looking for love, expect love to at least be beginning in September. Somebody is coming forth towards you in September because you loved yourself first. You have done the work. You have done the healing. And you know that you are worthy and deserving. You have a lot more self-respect now than you had before and that makes you more attractive so whoops so thank you spirit for these messages what else do you have to add in the tarot what do you have to add to this story of love coming forth for my friends watching this video right now what do you have to add to this story looks like this is a love reading i didn't anticipate that but i wanted to have a love section but it looks like that's what we want to see today. So, or we need to see. Oh, and the sun came out again. The sun came out again. <laughs> Love it. So you have new, abundant, happy wishes being fulfilled. Look at how happy and free she is. You're being set free from something and uh you have love coming that's going to make you so happy so happy and when they send the same card twice in a reading that means the universe is saying uh i meant what i said you're coming into the sun energy where this is the happiest card of the deck and this is all brand new this is all um, blossoming like new fresh flowers in springtime. But look at all this light and look at how it's shining right on her. If you've been confused about a connection in separation, because it kind of looks like some of you are going through separation. If you've been confused about this person, look, you're like the sun to them. You got double sun energy here. 
This is both of you. This is like a divine counterpart here. Both of you are like the sun to each other. And illumination is coming. You're going to be clear. You're not going to be confused anymore. you got the light shining on your connection in September. Okay? And this may be just the beginning. This may be just the beginning. So continue to be patient as it unfolds. But it's unfolding. you got the sun. This is also a major arcana. And what I like to call those are the destiny cards. So this is all part of a destiny plan. You've been patient for a reason because it's all part of the plan. Ah, yep, resurgence. Here we go. You're going from literally probably stagnation, stalled energy where you have been just like, does this person even have feelings for me anymore? Do they even think of me, about me anymore? Or feeling like, am I ever going to find love? To all of a sudden moving in fast forward motion. This is fast forward movement. This is um, going from a stall to overwhelm because so much is happening so fast. This is communication coming in probably through the airwaves like text messages, DMs, um, what have you. Someone is going to be reaching out to you in September if they haven't already. And it's going to make you very, very, very happy. It's going to be very exciting energy. You're going to start off just like, like a, a spark just goes into a, a flame. Very quick, very exciting. You're going to feel it deep inside. Fire energy. They could be a Leo because this is a Leo card and this is fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. Could be a Leo, doesn't have to be. You could be a Leo, you don't have to be. It's just the energy that's showing up in your reading right now. Ah, oh, Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled. This is everything you've been wishing for, totally coming to pass in September or beginning in September. The spark may light up in September, but it's your wish. It is your absolute wish. And the nine, for me, September. After a period of letting go of the old stuff that doesn't work, you may have had to put to rest a, an old way of thinking, an old, old habits, or an old relationship that was no longer working out. And, and now you are coming into absolute <laughs> fast-moving <laughs> spark that goes into this huge flame of happiness and joy and bliss your ultimate wishes fulfilled if you've made a list of exactly what you want you're getting it this is like the genie in the bottle ask and you shall receive amazing <laughs> let's ask for some advice because I'm I mean, just enjoy, continue to be patient. If it hasn't already started, it's coming. Look, she has light behind her too. All coming from her heart chakra area. Look, it's just, you're, you're gonna be so lit up and, and have so much joy. This is exactly what you wanted. Wow, this is what you've been praying for and it's nine. This is, the month of September is nine. What advice do you have for my friends watching this video and enjoying this energy coming towards them? What advice do you have, Spirit? What advice, angels? Any messages to close out this reading? Maybe they're just like, just enjoy. Here we go. Ask your angels. <laughs> your angels are going to be giving you messages and signs, probably. Somebody else might be bringing the two of you together. Is there anything else as we close this amazing reading within the next few months? So we're asking about September, but I'm going to say between now and the end of the year is when this is going to happen, but it's probably going to spark in September. Things are changing in September. You have been waiting for a long time with that patience card. I can tell it's been a long time. You've been waiting. Something's going to change. You're going to have some kind of really exciting shift in September. 
but between now and the end of the month is probably when it's going to come to full fruition and fulfillment because this nine of cups card is also number nine is the number of fulfillment so i feel like um, between now and the end of the year you're going to have full fulfillment with this connection so it may spark you may start talking in september it may start off really quick and get fiery really fast because you have this eight of wands but then there's going to be some kind of shift between now and the end of the year that is going to bring you your ultimate wish fulfillment so be patient and enjoy every little bit that happens focus on the good things don't get too fast too ahead of yourself um, with expectations make sure you don't have any expectations on this person so that they can just be open and you just be open be open to receive what the universe is bringing you because i'm telling you it is the happiest card of the deck this this card and you got it twice and you got your wishes fulfilled here this is like the, the most amazing energy enjoy september enjoy it if, if it if it starts out small enjoy every moment without expectation so it can continue to grow and light on fire okay and be sure you comment below and let me know when this happens for you like and share and subscribe if you found this video helpful and you know anybody who would like to uh, watch it too please share I appreciate every little thing that you're doing for me to support this channel. It's a brand new channel and I'm excited to get it going. I thank you for being here. If you want a private reading, that information is below. And uh, have a really great month. Bye, friends.